Okay, everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. This is Rich. And I'm Cake. I'm riding today, and what we are doing today is answering a challenge that we got from Tony Reno. All the way from Italy. All the way from Italy. <laughs> and that's Tony Reno with Two Wheel for Fun. It's a two part challenge that he got from someone. It is riding and doing a motorcycle vlog for 10 minutes with no editing. So what you will see is all our mistakes. We will not edit the vlog, even though I don't make mistakes. <laughs> and, uh, uh. <laughs> with all our mistakes in it and answering the seven gear challenge. Now who he got it from was Rich from Half Moto Will Travel. That's Half Moto Will Travel, Rich from Half Moto Will Travel. And before we start, I would like to give a shout out for Rich for Half Moto Will Travel because of him, Cake and I are able to do dual motor vlog. Uh, some time ago, he asked us about dual motor vlogging and we gave him some answers and he gave us some answers on how we can do dual motor vlog. So make sure you check out his channel and find out what equipment that he used to motor vlog. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, Rich. We definitely appreciate that. Not to mention, I'm going to find that video and put it at the end of this video so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and how we are able to do a motor vlog because of Rich from Have Motor Wheel Travel. Now on to the questions and challenge as we ride these beautiful back roads and this great, gorgeous scenery on this beautiful sunny day. Okay, okay, going with question number one. It is, what motivated you to get your first motorcycle? What motivation did you have to get a first motorcycle? So, okay, guys, start off with this one first. Well, for me, let me start back when I first got on a motorcycle back in 83. My brother had a motorcycle. Needless, needless to say, he tried to teach me how to ride, and it was not a pleasant experience. <laughs> so that was not my motivation. Now, years ahead of time, while in the Navy, I had two friends that were just motorcycle crazy freaks. And always talking about riding, riding fast and speeding along. And they motivated me to get a motorcycle. And I wound up buying a 750 Honda Interceptor, believe it or not with no training, so I rode like a crazed idiot also, riding that bike real, real fast. And fell in love with riding, and that's what motivated me. I think that was back in 86, something like that. I forget the exact date, exact year. So that's my answer, what motivated me, was two friends that I had in the Navy that rode really, really good. All right, kick you up. Me? Hey, it motivated me when my uncle had a bike. He had one of them speed, quad rocket bike and I wanted to ride the bike so he put me on the back uh -huh. and you know he popped wheelie with me on the back they hold on and I held on and he hit a wheelie with me so I said all right cool I like that I like it I really love it and where was this this was back in New Orleans 1978 maybe 79 probably 78 something no, like that it had that. to be around 80 when we met because Remember, Charles Holmes had me back there on the races also. The same yeah. time he was back there with your uncle, but we didn't know each other at the time. And my mom found out that I was riding on the back of the bike while uncle riding on one wheel. And needless to say, you know, that didn't go over too well. Stay your blip, 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 blip <laughs> off that bike. And I'm like, but mom, but it's what I said. If only mama could see and you now. Then, <laughs> and then, I'm, I'm, your mama said you can't get it. Man, just meet me over here. I'm come over here. I'm come over here. And needless to say, I'm riding with just the helmet on. Right. So, man, I think that's why she was, uh, don't get your butt on that bike. I said, all so, right, okay. So that kind of just went away from now. Although he tried to teach me how to ride it, I, I didn't get it. So let me ask you, so was it your mom not want you to be on a bike that motivates you to ride it? Or just you had motivation because you were on a bike? I had the motivation because I was on the bike. And obviously years later you got your own bikes. Yeah, I got my own bike. I started off with a 750, now I'm riding uh -huh. a Gold Wing 1800 F6B. Y'all know, y'all saw that pretty self. blue bike. That's your bad self. 
So anyway, going on to question number two. What type of riding do you like? Twisty, straight, group riding, back road, what? I started off the last well, question. You well, want to take this one first. We on the back road now, so right, right. That's, <laughs> that's number one. On the back road, and I'm on the leaning. I'm leaning on the curb, okay? So I like twisties, twisty back roads. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. So for me, it, I guess it's say the same answer, just like any and all motors. Like, well, I can't say all. I love twisties more than anything else. You know, come on, we live in California. I don't really know how to say no more than that. We live in California. But do we like straight roads? Yeah, but we need to have a nice view, a nice country road, or like when we was in Canada, we rode a lot of straight roads with fantastic views. So, yeah, we can ride straight roads. As for group riding, we don't ride with too many groups except the group that we are part of. And for the most part, we put the rides together with help from other people, obviously. But when I do my own rides, it's normally a group ride, but I need to know who's riding in the group. So yes, we like group rides also. So going to the next question is, what type of riding do we like? And by that mean, what type they mean, um, Long ride, short rides, day rides, weekend rides, etc., 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 etc. I like to ride short okay. ride. Okay, long let's, let's rides, do this. Let's do this. Weekend ride. Hold on, okay. Let's go with what you like the best because if like the ride is kind of general, generalizing it, it means that all bikes like riding. So, what do you like the most? I like long cross country rides. Long I distance. like knowing that I can ride from one state to the next state to the next state and as soon as they feel finish with that bridge to Hawaii I'm going to those states <laughs> I'm gonna hit the island I'm an island hop so I guess we riding to Hawaii when they finish with that bridge then. <laughs> <laughs> left turn so for me it is just the cake say we ride big bike we ride big monstrosity go wing super comfortable and we are hooked on long distance riding so my answer is the same thing, long distance riding. I mean, we put so many miles on these bikes since we got got the Go Wings. I'm somewhere around 96,000 and only had the bike four years. And I know Cake is around 65,000 on yours right now. Yeah. And then the last bike I had, I think I put 21,000 on it in one year. And a, your last bike, which was the 750, how much you put on that? I put 32,000 on that bike. We, we do the ride. We love the long distance riding, going out there and meeting people and things like that uh, uh, more than anything else. Now, as she was saying before, we do love the, the day ride, the short ride, the overnighters and all those things also. But to answer the question, long distance ride. Okay, the next question would be, what is your favorite destination to ride to? Ooh. I like the four big head people, you know, the presidents, <laughs> Mount, Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. I love that area. Uh -huh. You know, I get to ride Needles Highway, ride to up to Crazy Horse. Yeah. That Black Mountain. I, I actually like the, Keys, the town of Keystone also. Yeah, I like, yep. I, I just like that whole area. Sturgis, okay. we went to Sturgis, but not doing the rally. Yeah, we did we went after Sturgis, but we missed the rally. So everything was shut down, but we did get to see some of the museums that was down there. But, but yeah, the four big head people, Red that Barn. was one of my favorite. Okay, so my favorite is, my favorite ride destination is, I would say Southern Utah. Oh, I like that too. I love Southern Utah for the fact that they have five national parks that you can get to while you're on vacation there and they're very close to each other, spectacular park. And each one of the parks has great, fantastic, well-maintained roads there in each one of those parks. And one of them that's really, really overlooked is Canyonland. Now the only problem I have with obviously the national parks is you have to ride like 25 to 30 miles an hour and that's about it. Now when we were in Canyonland, if you guys hadn't seen that video, the cake and I wind up opening it up only problem you would have is watching out for those rangers for speeding. <laughs> so it's good to go in the park on a weekday. That way you can get your roll on. So 
So that's my favorite destination, Southern Utah. I like Southern Utah too. Okay, the next question is, let me see, um, it would be, what is the biggest lesson that motorcycle riding has taught you? What have you learned by riding motorcycles? I've learned, I'm more aware, I'm more alert. You know, although I'm a good driver, because my insurance, you know, I got low rates. Okay, it's just, just that it, more makes you more alert? More alert, I look more for for bikes when I'm driving in my car. Just anything in general? Yes. When I'm on the bikes, it just had me looking out, making sure them deer and whatever else is not, I can see them out in the far away. Yeah, for me, I think the biggest lesson would be uh, riding a motorcycle has made me a little bit more patient compared to driving a vehicle. Because, uh, you know, without patience, you kind of get short-tempered and then obviously get in a road rage with somebody. And you know, on two wheels, roadway rage is a thing that we cannot win. We will lose every single time if a driver decides to retaliate with you knocking off mirrors and doing all the stupid stuff that bikers do when they get upset. So I think just patience in general that has taught me that. So, okay, I think we're coming to the, the, almost to the last one. The next one would be, what's our next ride destination? And I'm gonna answer that one in, in its entirety because we ride together, so the ride destination. Our next ride destination was supposed to be cross-country trip riding from Santa Monica, Santa California. Monica to Chicago riding Route 66 in a eastbound direction and then heading up to Americade from Americade to Maine from Maine down and around to Florida Keys from Florida Keys in the southern belt and then heading up to Memphis and into Wingding which is in Springfield Missouri this Springfield, year Springfield Missouri and from there all the way to Montana Montana to attend a wedding so we were supposed to be out or is scheduled to be out on the road for at least 90 days but with the, the virus and everything we still taking a road trip we just may leave at a different time and it may not be as long as a road trip that we was expected so our next ride destination is along throughout cross country America seeing a beautiful of America road trip. America the beautiful. America the beautiful. So now, oh, finally got a chance to get a, a stop. Come on, let me see what you're looking like. What you looking like? I see that bike. <laughs> so the next question is be, would be, what wisdom or advice that would you offer? Oh, look at them turkeys. Slow down. Big giant turkeys. Hey, gobble gobble. Your lucky is not Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, let's roll. It would be, what advice will you give to new riders? Or somebody trying to thought riding, go with that. My thing would be to make sure you take the class first. Uh -huh. Practice, practice, practice. Ride, ride, ride your ride. own ride. That's the most important class in riding your own ride, yes. And all the gear, all the time. No matter how hot it is, you're gonna wanna come out of your gear. But just oh. remember, that ground is hard. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so. Good advice, good advice. Mine would be basically the same. It is, no matter who's teaching you how to ride, go take a basic course. Because if somebody teaches you how to ride, they may be a great teacher and great instructor, but there is something they're gonna miss. And they will probably unwillingly bring in some of their bad habits that they're teaching you. And like Cake said, uh, no, no, practice, 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 hit a parking lot after you take your course. Go hit a parking lot and continue to practice. The people are always asking us, how do we ride these big bikes so well? And yes, we do ride these big bikes well. Even other big bikers look at us and say, man, the way you ride those bikes is amazing because we do a lot of practice and that's the only way you're going to get better is practice and to get all the aspects of riding 
take that course because when you take the course the instructors are going to tell you we're not going to teach you how to be a fast fantastic great rider we're going to teach you how to be a safe rider and that's it and i think that's all of them for now so we got to put this challenge out to somebody else and i'm going to nominate anonymous biker usa down in new orleans louisiana i'm throwing a challenge to you seven questions talk for 10 minutes without editing and put the video up that's who i had and i'm gonna challenge honda harley girl down in florida miami florida fort lauderdale area okay all right i know who she is yeah i've been following her so i want to make sure she get this challenge going on for her sound good sound good we're gonna roll out, call out, out, call it quits for now, unless you got anything to add, baby. No, I don't have anything. So remember, everybody, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. And we out. Peace. Peace.